worship you. Father, we exalt you. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We thank you for another opportunity to be in your presence again. We give you all praises, all honor, all adoration. We pray that your spirit shall dwell with us. We pray that your presence shall dwell with us. We pray that as we worship you, we pray that our worship shall rise unto you this evening. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that you shall cleanse every life with your precious blood that you shed on the cross of Calvary. We pray that your mercy shall speak for us against every form of judgment of sin. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that you shall church our life afresh. We pray that every prayer we pray to you this evening shall be made answered by you. Father, we exalt your holy name. We worship you, Lord. We thank you because you are our Father. We thank you because we have a Father we can call upon. Oh, Lord, we worship you. We thank you, Daddy. We give you praise. We are grateful, oh, Lord. Hallelujah. We are grateful, oh, Lord. Hallelujah, for all you have done for us. Hallelujah, we are grateful. Oh, oh we are grateful, Lord. We are grateful. Oh, Oh, Lord. 
Tito Bito Olua Oloru Bokwaye Tito Bito Bioru Bokwaye Kukwaye 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 The covenant keeping God, oh, you are, you are the covenant keeping God, oh, you are Yahweh, Yahweh, the covenant keeping God, oh, you are Yahweh, Yahweh, the covenant. Victorious, yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory. Oh, we are victorious. We are victorious. Oh, yes, we are victorious. Oh, yes, glory be to God. Who has given us victory? Oh, we are victorious. We are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God. Who has given us victory? What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. Who what manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. He made the blind to see. Hallelujah. Oh, he made the lame to walk. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hey, oh, hallelujah, 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 amen, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. for yet another opportunity to come before your presence. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness. We thank you for your mercies. Thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you for sustaining us in the course of the night. Thank you for making us partakers of this blessed day. Father, we give you all the praise. Lord, we exalt you from the depth of our heart. We thank you, Lord, for every member of our family. We thank you for every member of this ministry. We thank you, Lord, for how you have been showing us your love every day. Father, may your name be glorified in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come before your throne this evening. We ask, mighty God, that you cause heavens to open unto us. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
Lord, we ask that you will be attentive to our words and you are going to hear our petitions as we lift up our hearts unto you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come against every power of darkness in our midst, in this environment. Lord, we decree that they will not prevail. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we subdue them under our feet. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we ask that you will guide us aright and you will lead us aright in the place of prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ask that, Lord, nothing will block our voices from getting to the throne of mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we ask that you are going to give us grace this evening. Give us grace in the name of Jesus. Pour your grace upon every life. Pour your grace upon Cedar Generation Gospel Outreach. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let us see the impact of our prayers on this church, on this nation, upon our lives, upon individuals. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, gracious Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Let's have our seat for about a few minutes. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank the Lord for this wonderful time that we have come before the Lord to, to pray. And our prayer focus today will be in two categories. We'll be praying for the church, basically for the church, then we'll pray for our country. And the people who are see here are workers and ministers and our pastors. So I want to employ that we'll make it a time of encounter with the Lord by praying very well. The Bible says the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. So God will be depending on you to take those prayers today. Our sister has led us right and she was praying about salvation for people that come to church. And that is the burden in my heart as well. In fact, Matthew chapter 13 is part of where we are going to be praying for, from. So that is the body that God has before us today. That's the focus of our prayer. We'll be praying on the church and we'll as well be praying for our country, Nigeria. And may the Lord hear us in Jesus' name. May the Lord hear us in Jesus' name. Brethren, for anybody to be able to speak effectively for God, and to dispense his oracles correctly. There are three doors that must open unto that man. If you want to speak for God effectively, and you want to dispense the word of God, the oracles of the Spirit, very, very correctly, three doors must open. And we thank God because those doors are open unto this ministry. The door of, the door of ministry, that's the first one. Then the door of utterance, that's the second one. Now the third one is the door of faith. And we have all those doors. But if you look at the first one, the door of ministry, it is God that opens that in his mercy. You can't start ministry by yourself. It is God. Some people start by themselves, but they don't have any, anything to show for it. The second one is the door of utterance. It is God that gives what? That gives utterance. Then the door of faith, that one you have to contend for it. The door of faith, what does the door of faith mean? It means that when you are speaking, the hearts of people will respond to what you are saying. So our anchor text is Acts chapter 14, verse 27. Acts 14, we don't have too much time, so as we are taking those prayers, please let us be very swift about those prayers. Acts chapter 14, verse 27. That's our anchor verse. And when they were come, okay, let me start from 25. And when they had preached the word in Paga, they went down into Atalia, and then they sailed to Antioch from where they had been recommended to the grace of God for the work which they had fulfilled, or for the work which they fulfilled, verse 27. And when they were come, and had gathered the church together, they rehearsed all that God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith unto the Gentiles. When they were gathered together at the church, what did they do? 
they were telling the brethren all that God had done with them. Particularly, how God opened the door of faith unto the Gentiles. So our emphasis and prayers this evening is on the door of faith. And that door of faith is basically on the part of those that hear the word of God. Those that hear the word of God. It is the opening of their eyes and ask to receive the word of God and believe it. Praise the Lord. It is the opening of their eyes and their hearts to receive the word of God, to hear the word of God and to believe. So let's go to verse 1 and 2 of that Acts chapter 14 before we begin to pray. Verse 1 and part of verse 2 of that Acts chapter 14. And it came to pass in Iconium that they went both together into the synagogue of the Jews. That was Paul and Barnabas. So they went both together into the synagogue of the Jews. And so they preached. Please listen. And so they spoke the word of God that a great multitude, both of the Jews and also of the Greeks, did what? Brethren, they did what? They believed. Both of them preached. And they said a great multitude of both the Jews and also the Greeks, they did what? They believed. Now look at what happens in, in verse 2. Verse 2 says what? But the unbelieving but the unbelieving, I want to come back, boy. I want to come back, boy. That is what we want to pray about this evening for Cedarland. Some of them believed. Verse 2 says, But the unbelieving, they were also in the synagogue, but they did not believe. So people go, they come to church, isn't it? They dress well. Pastor preaches the word. Some believe, some don't believe. The door of faith did not open unto such people. They are the ones who want to pray about this evening. But the unbelieving, I'm wondering, why didn't they believe? And she was leading us about the God of this world that has blinded their hearts, that the veil should be removed. But the unbelieving Jews stirred up the Gentiles and made their minds evil, affected, evil affected against Paul and Barnabas and every other person that believed that preaching in the synagogue. Can we rise on our feet? So you have, an under, you have understanding of the prayer we want to take this evening. It said, multitude of both the Jews and the Greeks, they believed. Verse 2 says, but the unbelieving. What makes people to come to church and they don't believe? That is the focus of our prayer. So as we are asking you to pray, brethren, please pray. So that anybody about one who joy. You know, God will, God will just open the door of faith unto that person to receive. So I want us to pray that the word of God will penetrate into the hearts. Into the hearts of anyone that worships in this ministry. Brethren, that is the prayer this evening. You know, I told you, I said, we are the one that will contend for the door of faith. For the door of ministry, God will open it. He has opened it. For the door of utterance, God will open it. He has opened it. For the door of faith, Awalama Badura. I wanted to ask the Lord that, Lord, let your word penetrate into the hearts of anyone that comes to worship in Cedarland, in any of our programs. Brethren, can you go to the Lord and pray? Can you lift up your voice and talk to God? The Lord let your word penetrate into every heart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let your word penetrate into the hearts of people that worship in the church in Sida and let it mix with faith in their spirits in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, I want us to pray. Brethren, can you apply some, some fire to that prayer? The Lord, let your word penetrate. As people are coming on Sunday, as they are coming on Wednesday, as they are coming for a Senate meeting, coming for special programs, fresh oil service. Lord, let your word, let it find a landing place in the hearts of men. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, can you talk to God? Can you talk to God? The Lord, let your word come mightily into the lives of everyone. 
that comes to worship in Sida in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, let your word go forth in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your word go forth. Brethren, can you pray? Let your word go forth in the name of Jesus Christ. Even when choir, when they are ministering, the, the Lord is opening the door into the hearts of men. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Who was the one that was preaching at the synagogue? It was Paul. And who? And Barnabas. Maybe it was a two-hour meeting. I want to come back, boy. Verse 2. Only I want to come back, boy. What did you want to know? How will people come for our fresh oil service and come for programs? And some will believe and some will not believe. That is our prayer, brethren, this evening. We want to ask the Lord will take that prayer again. The Lord, open the door of faith. Open the door of your word into the lives of anyone that comes to any of our programs. Brethren, can you lift up your voice and talk to God? The Lord, open the door of faith. Open the door of your word. In the name of Jesus Christ, let people give testimony about their salvation. Let God make great men out of Sida that they will say that I got saved in Sida. Renowned evangelists all over the world. Renowned people. Can you ask God, brethren, can you pray? I'm asking you to just pray that Lord, let your word penetrate every heart. That Lord, open the door of faith unto everyone that comes for any of our programs. Our vigil, our fresh oil service, Lord, our anniversary, any of our programs, Lord. Any of our programs, Senate meeting, Lord, open the door of faith in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we are prayed. The loudest amen. In Jesus' name we are prayed. I want us to pray against unbelief and hardness of hearts. Hardness of hearts. We're going to pray against unbelief and hardness of heart in the lives of every worshiper. Romans chapter 3, please. Romans chapter 3, verse 3. Just be taking those Bible passages. Romans chapter 3. Yes. For what if some did not believe? What are we going to do? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? No. Verse 4. God forbid. Yeah, let God be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy saying, and mightest overcome when thou hast judged. Let us pray for them. Go back to verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? I want us to pray against unbelief, against hardness of heart in the hearts of people. They have prepared their mind. Let's just go. They see coming to programs, coming to church, just a, a religious practice. Well, let's just go. Let's go. Let's just go there. Let's, church will allow you. They do calendar of the church, they will go. Because there is no visible effect upon their lives. I want us to pray that, Lord, we break every stony heart in pieces. We break every stony heart in pieces. Can you pray in the name of Jesus Christ? Workers, ministers, please, can you pray? Can you take these prayers very well? The Lord, we destroy every stony heart. She was saying that, yes, even, even amidst workers, some workers are not saved. We are coming to that side. Let's ask God, the Lord, we break every stony heart. Lord, we break them in pieces. In the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God says in Jeremiah 23, 29, it says, Is my word lock not like a armor that breaks the rock in pieces? The Lord, let the armor of your word, let it break every stony heart in pieces in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let it break them in pieces in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let your hammer, let, it, let the armor of your word, let it break every hardened heart. Let it break them in pieces in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let it break them in pieces. Brethren, can we pray? Can we pray? Can we pray? Can we pray? Let it break them in pieces in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let it destroy. Let it destroy every stony heart. Let it destroy every heart of stone. Let it shatter them in pieces. Let people begin to fall down like a pack of cards, even on their chairs. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Sinner, can you lift up your voice to heaven and cry to God on this matter? Can you lift up your voice to heaven and cry to the Lord on this matter? The Lord, enough of preaching and people go out with unbelief in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, help us. Lord, help us. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, we are praying. The Bible says, if our gospel is eat, who is it eat to? He said, it is eat to those who are perishing, whose minds the God of this world has blinded. If our, if our gospel is veiled, I want us to ask the Lord, every veil covering people's heart, when ministration is going on, the veil that is covering their account, that social media, bam, that's your own veil. The Lord, every veil, the Lord, we come against them, we destroy them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, I would like that you will increase this tempo. The Lord, every veil that will not allow people to listen to your word, to hear your word, that will not cause your word to be effective in the lives of men. The Lord, we remove such veils in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we tear them down. Lord, we tear them down. In the mighty name of Jesus, every veil that is covering the heart of men, visit us, workers, anyone that comes, first timers, members, anyone that comes to see that, the Lord will destroy the veil. Lord will remove the veil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you carry a burden for this church, you are going to take that prayer. The Lord, we tear down the veil covering the eyes of men. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord, let your light, let your light shine upon every heart. Let your light shine upon every heart. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name we are praying. Church, in Jesus' name we are praying. If these doors are not opened unto us, all efforts in ministry will produce very, very few or little results. That is why it is important for us to take prayers such as this. Say, whom the, whom the God of this world has blinded, he has blinded them. They are already blind. May the Lord help us in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. As we are praying, we are not only praying for unbelievers. We are also praying for believers too. Believers' eyes, our eyes also can be veiled. Workers, the eyes of workers can be veiled. There are workers that are not yet saved and they are in church and they are working. Do not erroneously believe that it is only, it is only, it is only unbelievers that need this opening. No! Let's read Luke, Luke chapter 24. Luke chapter 24. See what happened there in the book of Luke, just to buttress this. Luke 24. Let me read verse, let me start from verse 13. And behold, two of them went that same day to a village called Emmaus, which was from Jerusalem, about three score for long. And they talked together of all these things which had happened. And it came to pass that while they communed together and reasoned, listen to that, Jesus himself drew near and went with them. What happened? Only but their eyes were what? Were holding that they should not know him. And they were walking with Jesus and they did not know that it was Jesus Christ. The prophet had already said it. And they were in the temple, they were in the synagogue when they preached it, but they were dull of hearing. So they started, Jesus as I said, what happened? What happened? They started narrating everything to Jesus. Part of what they said, they said, and he said unto them, verse 19, what things? And they said unto him, concerning Jesus of Nazareth, which was a prophet, mighty indeed, and word before God and all the people. And now the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and have crucified him. Jump to verse 25. Verse 25, look at the response of Jesus Christ did not commend them. Obuoni. Kiloso oni. Then he said unto them, O fools, is that a commendation? That's not. He said, O fools. Kilo fa or Jesu. 
He said, oh fools and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. What has been preached on this altar to Yakuti affect life and Wotobawa? They are slow of heart. That's what you can They are slow of heart to believe. So we are just giving our fathers in the Lord double work to be coming over and over and over and over again. Ought not Christ, verse 26, to have suffered these things and enter into his glory? And beginning, look at verse 27, sir. And beginning at Moses. Can you imagine? Jesus began again at Moses. He shall stay to one And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them all in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. But they were dull of hearing. I want us to pray against dullness of hearing in our midst. For anyone at a workout, you can see that these ones are workers, so you can see oh, they are believers. So believers the one, but just when pay oh fools, and yes, she will be oh fools, no so he didn't commend them. I want us to pray against dullness of hearing. Dullness of hearing, I want us to pray against it in this ministry. That Lord, we will not be dull of hearing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Brother, can you talk to God on this matter? I want you to catch that body. The Lord, no one will be dull of hearing of your word in the name of Jesus Christ. That the word of God will make impact in the life of everyone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I don't want you to be moved by, by the numerical strength. 300 came to church today. No, I want you to be moved by this. The Lord, no one will be dull of hearing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord, as our fathers come to minister on this altar, the Lord, the pew will not be dull of hearing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, can you catch this body? Can you catch this body? I want you to catch this body. That no one will be dull of hearing. When they are dull of hearing, they will be pressing phone. When they are dull of hearing, they will be thinking of finishing service and they are going to take pictures. I want you to ask God, the Lord, no one will be dull of hearing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In all our programs, Cedar members, workers, ministers, can you apply more fire to your prayer? That no one will be dull of hearing. No, in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, oh slow, you are slow of heart. You are slow. He began to expunge to them from Moses or to better again. They gave Jesus Christ what Allah to do. He asked God the Lord, no dullness of hearing. In the name of Jesus Christ, we shall not be dull of hearing. In the name of Jesus Christ. No one will be dull of hearing. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Your loudest amen in Jesus' name, we are praying. Go to verse 32. Let's take a prayer from verse 32. And they said one to another, Did not our heart burn within us? I want you to ask God for a burning in the lives of people that hear the word of God. Did not our heart burn? Did not our heart burn with us while he taught with us by the way? While he opened towards the scriptures, brethren, two things. While he opened to us the what? The scriptures. I want you to pray and enter into a covenant with this with God. The Lord, as the scripture is opened, either for Randolph of worship, for any ministration, the Lord let the hearts of people born in the name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, can you pray to the Lord? The Lord, as we open the scriptures and this altar, Lord, let the hearts of people born in the name of Jesus Christ. When people read the vision, when they read the mandate, let their hearts born in the name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, are you having an encounter with God on this matter? I want you to pray that, Lord, let the hearts of people born. He said, did not our heart born? Did it not born within us while he talked with us by the way? While he opened that as our fathers in the Lord, as anybody, any minister, any beauty, as they open the scriptures, Lord, let the response be a burning heart in the name of Jesus Christ. As the scripture is being opened on the altar, on the, on the pulpit, let the response from the pew, let it be a burning heart in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord, let it be a burning heart 
In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. If we don't pray against dullness of hearing, it will appear as if people are wasting their time when ministration is going on. Matthew chapter 13. Where our sister read the other time. Matthew 13. Matthew 13. Let me start from verse 10. Verse 10. And the disciples came and said unto Jesus, Why speaketh thou unto them in parables? That's where she read the other time. Say, what, Jesus, why are you talking to them in parables? Why? Look at what verse 13 says. Therefore speak I to them in parables. Why? Because seeing they do what? They see not. And hearing they do what? They hear not. Neither do they understand. That's a tragic story. Seeing they see not. One one bell, not that they were not there or they are there. They are not blind physically, but oh, do know what to for. Seeing they see not, hearing they hear not. One got a microphone, pariwo. But Kishiru hearing a lance or rumba. Neither do they understand. We forbid this in this ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That is why I'm talking to them in parable. Because I'm really, what can Lujuni, what could Firina? Praise the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. Say, what can Neo Juni, what Fio Juma, what Firina? Or in Nitorina, Nimoshen Fio, we bow one sorrow. Nitori, Niri, what could Rina? Atini Bibo, what could Bob? Ben Nico Yuma. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which said, By hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see and shall not perceive. I don't know how we're going to pray, pray this prayer, but I wanted to ask you to tell God that, Lord, in your mercy, in your mercy, as people are entering into this service for any of our program, Lord, as they are entering, you can see those doors. Those doors are open. If Brogbenga closed, if he closes those doors now, nobody can come in, nobody can go out. I want you to pray that, Lord, in your mercy, open the door of faith into the life of everyone that comes to this church to worship. Just take that prayer. We have simplified it. Please, just take it like that as we'll be preparing to close. Just pray that prayer that, Lord, in your mercy, in your mercy, please open the door of faith. Lord, to anyone that comes to worship in Cedarland for any program. That's the prayer. That's how God led it to me. That, Lord, open the door of faith. As those doors are open, Lord, as they are coming in, you are welcome to church, you are welcome to our program, you are welcome to fresh service. Lord, as people are coming, Lord, open the door of faith in your mercy to the heart of men. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Door of ministry, door of utterance, and door of faith. See, the door of, the door of utterance and the door of faith, they go hand in hand. People become dull of hearing when, when there is no utterance. So we we'll pray for that. For our fathers in the Lord and for anybody that will be coming here, any minister, invited guest, they go hand in hand. If you don't want the people to be dull of hearing, there must be utterance from the mouth of the person that is speaking. Colossians chapter, chapter 4. Colossians 4. Colossians 4. Let's just take a prayer from there. We have about two more prayers to go that we pray for Nigeria. Colossians chapter 4. Verse 3, verse 3. Yes, without praying also for us, that God would open unto us, what? What? A door of utterance 
What do you do with the door of utterance? To do what? To speak. So there is a connection between the door of utterance and the door of faith. People are dull of hearing when there is no utterance. Only three. Only with door. And you know, Mark Badura Fuwa. If you are not she leku. That God would, who does that? It's God. That God would open unto us a door of utterance to speak the mystery of Christ for which I am also in bond. You does not dispense mere letters. If you dispense mere letters, people will just be there. That's why a door of utterance. Can I ask you to pray this prayer in, in the spirit? Pray it in tongues. I want you to pray in the talk that God, that you will open the door of utterance unto the BOT in the mighty name of Jesus, unto our fathers in the Lord and anyone that will be coming here to minister the word of God, that the Lord will open the door of utterance unto them. Only you to be praying for us that God will open the door of utterance. Can you pray? Can you pray? Masala Shita. Mesura gesura moshita. Lord, open that door. Makaru basetelia zobazo. In the name of Jesus Christ, so that there will be convictions. Makalida bosara bashita lo sara. In the name of Jesus Christ, not good English. Utterance is not good English. That is not utterance. I want you to pray in the spirit that God will open the door of utterance, even for you. When you are leading anything, even testimony, anything, even announcement, anything you are asked to do in the church, that God will give you open doors of utterance in the name of Jesus Christ. Masila Busare Makabarabashita. Lord, concerning this ministry, open unto us the door of utterance in the name of Jesus Christ. Open unto us, Father, the door of utterance in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, convictions in the hearts of the men will not become shallow. In the name of Jesus, that there will be utterance. Can you pray for yourself? Even when you are singing, when, 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 when the choir is ministering, I want us to pray the Lord, utterance, utterance, masila karabashita. Lord, open this door for us. In the name of Jesus, open this door for us in Cedarland. In the name of Jesus Christ, masakalata bashita. Misaro, Shikalo, Santeria, Makuba, Rabashateli. Lord, open this door in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, open, 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 open every defense against the word of God. Lord, we tear them down in the hearts of men. Open the door of utterance in the name of Jesus Christ. Masakali, the Musaro, Shenagalada, Basara, Shateliaga, Masutele, Borokosila. In the name of Jesus, without praying also for us, praying also for us, can we pray for our fathers in the Lord? Can we pray for our guest ministers? The Lord open the door, Masila Gusare Shitia, so that people will not be dull of hearing. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. The actual labor in ministry is not in speaking. I hope you know. It is in securing this open door for effective hearing. It's not in speaking. It's securing this door for effective hearing. And it's a, it's a contention between you and the kingdom of darkness because it's what is blinding one. And when you have a dinner, you have a dinner, you have a church, you have a toilet, you have a loo, 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 you so it is not in speaking, it is in securing this door for effective hearing. You don't need to do any, any gymnastic. You just secure your utterance and come here. Open the scriptures, you see what God will do. And the Lord help us in the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to pray for Nigeria as we close. Second Kings chapter 13. Second Kings chapter 13. Verse 5. 2 Kings 13, 5. Check for King. I don't think it's that. Yes, yes, yes. Leave it there. Leave it. Yes. 13.5. Okay. And the Lord gave Israel a savior. 
Can we say amen to that? So that they went out from under the hand of the Syrians. See, our leaders, they don't have any solution to salvage our country. I don't know if you believe that. That's my own belief. Only, and the Lord gave Israel a savior. That's what I want us to ask God for. So that they went out from under the hand of the Syrians and the children of Israel dwelt in their tents as before time. Be washing be betele. From under the hand of the Syrians, I want us to ask God in his mercy for this country that the Lord give us a savior. All these things you are saying, can I tell you that God has an alternative arrangement? Mark that word today. He has an alternative arrangement to everything you are saying. So I want us to just pray. If you are sitting, please make sure you pray. If you are standing, make sure you pray that God give us a savior after your heart. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take that prayer from the depth of your heart. Lord, give us a savior after your heart. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, give us a savior after your own heart. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we bring Nigeria before you. Lord, give us a savior after your own heart. Is anybody taking that prayer? That would deliver us from the hand of the Syrians. That will deliver us from the hand of the enemy. Our president has been talking about grazing, grazing. So the fuller is they feel that yes, it is support. That will deliver us from the hand of the Syrians. Yes. Now, Lord, give us a savior. Lord, give us your own arrangements. Give us your own divine arrangement for the nation Nigeria. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Church, in Jesus' name, we are prayed. Ezra chapter 7, verse 26. That's the final prayer before we pray for our service on Sunday. Ezra chapter 7, verse 26. And whosoever will not do the law of thy God. And the law of the king, King Jesus. Let judgment be executed speedily upon that person. That's the Bible. You don't waste time. Let judgment be executed speedily upon him. Whether there are, there are different kinds of judgment. Whether it be unto death. Or to banishment. That way it, will be, it will just be confined to a place. Anybody like that. Or to confiscation of goods. Or to imprisonment. This verse will come to pass upon this nation, Nigeria. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anyone that will not do the law of our God, the Lord will take them away. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anyone that is frustrating the law of our God. Anyone that wants to take away the government from the shoulders of Jesus. The Lord will take them out of their place. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want us to pray for our service on Sunday that the Lord will give us help from above in the name of Jesus. Exodus 23, 23 says, I will send my angel to go ahead of you. I want us to pray that Lord go ahead of us in all our programs. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord give us help. I want us to pray for the children that the hand of the Lord will be upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray for our fathers in the Lord, the BOT, that the grace of the Lord will not reduce upon their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray for the workers, those who are now around, that the eyes of the Lord will watch over everyone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray for the ministers, that Lord, your grace will abide with every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Can you say one prayer for yourself as we want to close this meeting? Just say a prayer. Say a prayer. Say a prayer for yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. Say a prayer for yourself. In the name of Jesus, say a prayer for yourself. Can you bless yourself? Can you bless your years? Can you bless your days? Can you bless your destiny? Can you bless your home? Can you bless this church in the mighty name of Jesus Christ? In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 
Amen. Sing hallelujah. 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 Sing hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Is war this year and a Amen. Is what this year and amen. Is what this year and amen. Is what this year is what this year and amen. Is what this year and amen. You are the Lord, you are the Lord, you change it no. You are the Lord, that change it. You are the Lord, you are the Lord, that change it no. You are the Lord. That change. Our Father and our God does not, does not change. The Lord with whom there is no variableness nor shadow of turning. Lord, we thank you and we worship you. Lord, once again we cry unto you this evening. Lord, we pray that those who have been coming to be part of our service, those who have been claiming to be members of this ministry, those who have been associated with this mission, but they are yet to know you. Father, we ask and we pray that you open their eyes of understanding and you open the door of salvation unto them in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that this ministry shall not be populated by unbelievers. We pray that this ministry shall not be popular by those who do not have personal relationship with you in the mighty name of Jesus. And we pray for every one of us who is part of this mission and is generally born and working with you, but Lord lack revelation, are dull of hearing, and Lord, they are blinded even to what you are doing. Lord, we ask and we pray that you open our eyes, our mind of understanding. You open our eyes of the spirit. You open our mind of the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we ask, O oh Lord God, we will begin to walk with you with the fullness of your revelation and knowledge in the mighty name of Jesus. With the eyes of our understanding open in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, may you give us willingness to walk in your counsel, to listen to your word, to walk in your will and to obey your word and live it out in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for this nation, Nigeria. Lord, we pray for your divine intervention. The ox may be, the, may be prepared for battle, but fix the of the law. Father, O oh Lord God, establish your counsel, establish your will in this nation, and bring to pass, O oh Lord God, that which you are purpose in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless your name. Lord, we pray for your son that you are used for us this evening. Lord, we pray, O oh Lord God, that you will also open his own eye of understanding. You will also cause him, O oh Lord God, not to be dull of hearing. Lord, this message has preached to us shall not testify against him in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord, bless your name. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Let us put our hands together for the Lord.